In this video tutorial, we're going to be using Python's turtle module to code ourselves up this little Christmas uh, message. All it is is a Santa hat along with the happy Christmas message beneath it. So let's get started today by heading over to our Python editor. I'm using Mu. And the first line of code that we need to write down is the same one we always use when we're using the turtle module. It's from turtle import star. So all that's saying is from the um, library of code or the module called turtle, we're going to import all of the functions inside of it, which will allow us to draw onto the screen using code. Now the first function I'm going to call up from the turtle module is the speed function. And we want to draw our sand hat today at the quickest speed possible, so I'm going to write in speed zero. Okay. From there we're going to set up our background. So let's put in a comment by using a hashtag at the start of the line. It just says background. And first of all I'm going to lift my pen up off the page. So I'm basically lifting the little turtle up off the page so I can move it to its starting coordinates, which are going to be 0, comma, minus 300. So this line of code simply says we're going to go to 0 on the x-axis, which is still the middle of the page, and we're going to go to, going to, go to minus 300 on the y-axis, which is taking us down towards the bottom of the page. Once we're in position, we put the pen back down on the page, which is the turtle, so we can start drawing again. Now I'm going to choose a colour here for my background, which is going to be green. It's a festive kind of colour. I'm going to call up the begin fill function, which is going to say the shape that I'm about to draw needs to be filled in. And the shape I'm going to draw is the circle. Okay, and all I need to do is write the word circle and put in brackets the size of the radius. So I'm going to make my radius 300 pixels. And after I am finished, I just turn the fill back off. Okay, so now Python knows that we're going to fill in whatever's in between the begin fill and the end fill lines of code there. And in this case, it's a circle. Okay, so let's save that and test it. So we're going to save this up. I don't care what you call it. Let's just call it Santa hat. And we'll give it a run. Okay, so that is our green background looking pretty good. and fills up most of the page. You'll see like a little glitch down the bottom here. That's just our turtle that's actually drawing this shape, and we'll hide that little turtle later on, so don't worry about that little um, glitch at the bottom. Okay, so I've got our background done. Next thing we might do is we'll draw the red part of the hat, which is just a red triangle. Okay, so let's put in a comment that just says red part of hat. And I'm going to lift my pen up off the page again. Okay, we're going to move to a new set of coordinates here, so let's call up the go to function. And move ourselves to minus 120 on the x-axis, so that's moving us to the left-hand side of the page. And we're going to go to minus 60 for the y-axis, which is just down a little bit from the center. Once we're in position, put the pen back down. I'm just going to make a bit of room here. Once our pen is down, we can start um, drawing our shape. So let's pick a color first. I'm going to choose red for the hat. I'm going to turn my fill on by using the begin fill function, and I'm going to draw a triangle. Now, a triangle is simply um, a for loop. So I'm going to write for i in range 3. So that line of code there just says we're about to repeat the next few lines of code three times. Okay, so I just need to draw one side of my triangle. So I'm going to go forward 250. And then I'm going to turn left at 120 degrees. And that's it. If I repeat those two lines of code there, three times, I should end up with a triangle. Okay, just be aware that these two lines here have been indented to the right, so there's a little bit of a gap here before the line. That just tells the computer they're part of this loop, this for loop. Okay, so we need to repeat these two lines of code three times. Okay, once you're finished, just jump out of that loop by pushing your mouse cursor back to the left-hand edge of the page and turn your fill off. And that little section there should draw us the red part of the Santa hat. So let's just save it and run it. And there you have the red part of the Santa hat, the triangle. Okay, this little shape over here, that's the turtle I was talking about before. And we are going to hide that little shape later on. All right, so that's looking good. Next thing you might do is stick a white pom-pom on top of the hat. So let's make a bit of room down here. and We'll put a comment in that says pom-pom. And like we've just done before, we'll lift our pen up off the page and go to a new set of coordinates. This time I'm going to go to 5, comma, 140. So that's basically just a little bit to the right hand side of the page and up um, above center. 
Okay, and we'll put our pen down once we are in position, ready to start drawing. Now, as I said a moment ago, we need to change our color to white for this pom pom. We need to turn our fill on, and all that pom pom in our pom pom is is a circle. So let's draw a circle with a radius of size 20. So just a small circle. End the fill when you're done, and that there should draw a white pom pom on top of your hat. Okay, looking good. Next part we want to do is we want to put a white trim around the bottom of the hat here, which is just a bunch of white circles repeated over and over and over again. So we're going to use a, another loop to create the trim along the bottom of the hat. Okay, so let's go down a few more lines and we'll put in a comment that says trim on hat. And we'll lift our pen up so we can get our Turtle in the appropriate coordinates to start this trim. So I'm going to go to minus 105 for the x-axis, that's to the left-hand side of the page, and minus 80, which is just heading down um, a little bit on the page. Once in position, put the pen down. We don't need to change the color because it's already white, so we can leave that line of code out. We can um, turn the fill on. And as I said before, we're going to draw a circle and just repeat it over and over again. In fact, we're going to repeat it 12 times. So let's create a for loop that says for i in range 12. And put a colon. And when you press enter, you'll see your mouse cursor is indented again, just to show that these next few lines of code are going to be part of this loop. Okay, so let's draw a circle, which is 20 um, pixels in radius. And then we're going to lift our pen up. We're going to go forward 20, so we're just going to move to the. That's going to move us to the right, about 20 steps, so not too far. And then we're going to put our pen back down again. Okay, we're just going to repeat that section of code 12 times, and that should draw us 12 circles side by side along the bottom of the hat. Don't forget to jump out of that loop at the bottom and just end your fill, so it fills in all the circles that you draw on the trimming of the hat. Let's have a look. There we go, so we've got 12 overlapping circles to create the trimming on the hat. So that's our hat done. Pretty easy, hey? Last thing we're going to do now is just write a little message at the bottom um, to wish people a happy Christmas. So, let's make a bit of room. I'm going to put another comment here that says, message. I'll lift my pen up. I'll go to minus 150 for my x-axis. And my y-axis minus 200. So we're heading basically down towards the left-hand corner of the page, down the bottom, left-hand corner of the page. Um, we'll put our pen down once we're in position. And all we need to do to write a message is use the write function. Uh, in quotation marks, you need to write Happy Christmas. I'm going to use capital letters for a little bit of extra emphasis. And if you want, you can format that text. So I'm just going to write um, font equals and in brackets and quotation marks I'm going to choose Arial for my font. I'm going to put a comma and write 25 which is the size of my font. You can make that number bigger or smaller if you want it bigger or smaller text. And I'm going to change the style to bold. Make sure you close off two brackets at the end of that line and the final thing we want to do is just hide the turtle. So just call up that hide turtle function at the very end which will make our little turtle that draws all the shapes disappear. And there you have it. That is the code to create a Santa hat with a little message underneath it. Okay, see you in the next video.